Hi everyone, I'm Omar Faiz. On this occasion, I think I'll take you travel around the world. I mean, during this action, we'll talk deeply about similarities and differences between Indonesia and our dream country. Let's jump into it. For me, my dream country is Australia. Definitely, I really want to work over there. We know that the cultures of Indonesia and Australia are very different, and this thing has led to some differences. However, I think we can still find similarities between these two countries because they are relatively not too far away. So the first thing you should know is the difference in the weather. Indonesia only has two seasons, which are the dry seasons and the wet season. This is different from what is in Australia. Australia has four seasons in most of the country, which are summer, autumn, winter, and spring. And another thing is the different cultures. Indonesians usually have a general deceit of direct confrontation because for Indonesians, saving face and keeping a good reputation is very crucial. But for Australians, they always try to be very direct and straightforward when communicating because they think it makes communication more harmless and simple. Not only that, I think Indonesians are commonly known for being late, usually when they are meeting friends. Therefore, Australians always avoid being late and they also try not to arrive too early because uh, it might seem annoying to them. The last, the last difference I might know of these two countries is Indonesia has 30 national holidays, some of them are, you know, future Indonesian Independence Day and many more. But for Australia, they only have 7 national holidays, some of them are Anzac Day, Australia Day, and Boxing Day. As I've told you before, this country still has similarities with Indonesia, which is why I choose this country. The first one is Indonesia and Australia have school uniforms that are compulsory. The next one is Australia and Indonesia are both very diverse in their culture. I think both, Indo both Australian people and Indonesian always try to separate work from their family lives. Even Indonesia and Australia both have very unique flora and fauna that can be found anywhere else. That is the differences and the similarities between Indonesia and Australia. Hello everyone, my name is Rikian Kashaputri, and today I will talk about the differences and the similarities between Indonesia and my dream country which is England. Uh, let's get started. I will, I will start from the differences. First one is, in Indonesia, the currency is rupiah, so you'll get paid in rupiah. While in England, the currency is sponsored link, so you'll get paid in sponsored link. And the second one, the Indonesians know about the importance of their superiors and are used to addressing them by suitable titles. In Indonesia, you have to call your superiors by using bapa, which means sir, or ibu, which means ma'am, or ka, or ma, or mas, uh, for your older co-workers. In England, weddings are generally in, on an informal first name basis. Even though, you can always use Mr. or Miss followed by the surname. For example, good afternoon, Miss Smith. In this case, the person may reply with please call me Rachel, giving you permission to use the first name. In Indonesia, the co-workers don't hesitate to ask personal questions, and in this way, an environment of friendship could go on. While the British are highly individualist and private people, asking direct personal questions is not a safe choice. The third one, Indonesia has culture of restraint. Western societies do not put much emphasis on leisure time and control the gratification of their desires. They might feel that their actions are restrained by social norms and feel that indulging themselves is somewhat wrong. While England has a culture of indulgence, they possess a positive attitude and have a tendency towards optimism. In addition, they place a higher degree of importance on leisure time, act as they please and spend money as they wish. The fifth, in Indonesia, the co-workers usually eat lunch together as a way of bonding, so it might take like one hour or so. But after work, most employees just go straight home to spend time with their families. While in the British workplace, at the lunchtime, people take a short break or even eat a sandwich at their own desk.
After working socializing, on the other hand, is very important, and this takes place in the local pub, uh, usually near the near their workplace. Moving on, I'm gonna tell you guys uh, the similarities between Indonesia and British work culture. The first one is. When meeting for the first time in a working setting, both Indonesian and British people shake hands and give a slight nod. Uh, the second one, politeness is incredibly important in both England and Indonesia. For example, do not usually replace by would you mind, would you mind not, or instead of close the door, you might hear if you were a mind, could you please close the door, or in Indonesia, uh, For example, you could hear uh, instead of hearing you, instead of hearing do not or jangan, you might hear uh, bisa kalau untuk tidak dilakukan. Or instead of hearing tutup pin, hearing tutup pintunya, you might hear uh, kalau tidak keberatan, apakah boleh tolong ditutup pintunya? Ya, yeah, just like that. And the third one, both British people and Indonesian use self deprecation. The precaution as a way of not appearing openly proud, because other might find it as impolite. The fourth, the working week in most Indonesian and British companies is similar, which is Monday to Friday. And last, unlike in America, Indonesian and British people drive on the left side of the road. So yeah, that's all from me. I think, uh, and then I hope you could learn something new from all the things that I just said. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Faras Fitria Farhani. Right now, I'm going to tell you about the similarities and differences between Indonesia and Singapore as my dream country. First, I will tell you the differences. Indonesia has the potential for natural tourism and cultural world, but Singapore has tourism potential in the modernization sector. Then, Indonesia has many indigenous tribes such as Javanese and Betawi as well as immigrant tribes such as China, Arabic, and India. How about Singapore? Their citizens consist of various immigrant ethnic groups such as China, Arabic, and India, although there are also indigenous people such as the Malays. Next, as we know, Indonesia is known as a friendly country. In the other side, Singapore residents love to smile and like to greet strangers. Last differences I'm going to tell you is Indonesia using orchids as ornamental flowers. But in Singapore, they are using orchids as aromatherapy ingredients. Hold on, Indonesia and Singapore also have something in common. I will tell you, they have potential in the tourism industry in their respective fields, having a wealth of culture, ethnic, and race. The people are friendly. Also, they has an orchid flower as a typical flower. I have told you the similarities and differences between Indonesia and the country of my dreams. Now, are you guys interested? Thank you! If we talk about the difference between Indonesia and Australia, first, exactly it is the language. In Indonesia, we using Bahasa to talk with each other and in Australia, we using English. The second, it is the culture. In Indonesia, it's, it is relatively to for the student who have a side job because Indonesian people think it is the, the obligation of parents to support his child because his child gets a job. But in Australia, we will often to see that students in college, even students in senior high school have a side job. Moreover, if we are 18 years old and we, we still get money support from our parents, people will think we are lazy and spoiled people. Furthermore, the cultural difference between Indonesia and Australia is people in Indonesia like to talk about small talk even at meeting. Often to see when we, we are at meeting, people will talk about small talk about small talk to open the meeting, for example, uh, better in a job. But in Australia, people try not to discuss or do activity, activities apart from the, the meeting material. The final difference between Indonesia and Australia is the salary of the employee. In Indonesia, the salary of the employee are paid um, on a monthly, but in Australia, the salary of the employee are paid on an hourly. Oh yeah, let's move to the similarity between Indonesia and Australia. First, but often located in the uh, same ocean, namely the Pacific Ocean. 
uh, second, but but both of them is an Asian legal country. Indonesia have uh, 1656 island, and Australia have 80,222 island. Third, both of them have a multiple language. We know Indonesia have a lot of tribes, and each tribe has a different language, and that's why Indonesia have a multiple language. Uh, Australia has uh, several languages, namely Australian English, Australian Aboriginal language, Tasmanian language, and Torres Island language. Okay, the last, uh, but of them are countries that have a beautiful natural scenery. I've told you before, Indonesia and Australia are archipelago country, so of course, but of them have a lot of beautiful beach. Uh, besides that, but of them also have a beautiful and large forest. Hello everyone, my name is Rizal M. Pratama. My dream country is American. Why? It is because my dream job is to be a professional filmmaker and American have the best film industry on in the world. So, I want to go and live in America. Talking about different and similarity Indonesian and American. Indonesian and American have some difference. American people is a punctual people. I mean for American people, time is the precious things. It's so very different with Indonesian people. Indonesian people are not concerned with time and like to be late. American people are very easy to express their thought and criticism. The strongly suggest that American is a democracy country. But many Indonesian people still afraid and ashamed when they express their thoughts and criticism. But beside that, Indonesian have many similarity with America. Indonesian and America have some government system that is presidential. Some democracy country and both of Indonesian and America have some culture of discrimination. I think that's all of different and similarity about Indonesian and America. And that is why I want to go and live in America. Thank you. One, I think that's all that we can say about the similarities and differences between Indonesia and our dream country. Be well, do good work and goodbye.